Global markets plunging today following Friday's poor jobs report. It showed unemployment rose to 4.3 percent. That's the highest level since 2021. And now some wondering if we're headed for a big economic slowdown. Fox 31 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin joining us now with the, what we should be keeping an eye on here. Gabrielle. Yeah, Jeremy, when watching the economy, experts say gas prices may not be something that's on our radar, but they say that it's something that we all should be keeping an eye on. Remains to be seen what happens to your investment portfolio. We had one bad day, but that doesn't mean we're going to have one bad week. I think it remains to be seen what happens to the jobs market. Um, right now, we're nearing full employment in Colorado. What we know will play out happens with gas prices. Skylar McKinley with AAA says if you haven't been keeping an eye on prices at the pump, today should be your wake-up call to start. This summer, Colorado prices have been very sticky. They've been stuck really between 325 and 340. As of today in Colorado, they sit at about $3.39 as a statewide average. But given the economic news, Given the international relations news, today is really a line in the sand. The Dow fell about 1,000 points today amid heightened fears about the American economy slowing. Japan's stock crashing at its worst rate since 1987. Experts say the global market meltdown was the result of fears of the U.S. being on the brink of another recession. McKinley says big fluctuations in gas prices could tell the story of what's to come. If uh, at your local service station you're seeing 15, 20, 30 cent drops, uh, prepare yourself for a, a rocky economic period, at least heading into the fall. Conversely, if you know that prices are rising and you see them rising, uh, based off World Bank economic analysis, if the conflict expands to the extent that prices rise, they might rise very quickly, uh, very dramatically. Some Colorado drivers are already taking notice and preparing for the worst. With the crash in the market and all of that, price for everything is going to go up. And so gas goes up groceries go up, which means everything else goes up. And of course, this is all still very new and still developing, but experts say it is something that we should all keep an eye on as international conflicts continue and amid today's U.S. economic news. Reporting live in Denver, Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31. All right, Gabrielle, thank you.